Hi, right, Ben here with PFL Driving School, doing um, left and right here uh, on Brooklyn, New York, all right? We're doing left and right here, okay? Good, good, good. Hi, okay. And this, and this channel here, um, if you haven't met before, I'm Ben with PFL Driving School. Here in this channel, we do everything driving, okay? Um, if you're looking to get some training, passing your wood test, and be safe on the wood, build up some confidence, this is the right channel for you. You may consider to subscribe because we um, drop video here three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hit, not hit the notification squad. So each time we drop a video too, you also get a notification, all right? If you want anything for me to cover for you in particular, put in the comment below. That's where we got most of our video topic coming from, all right? So we're talking today about um, speed bump on the wood how do you park your car let's say you live in the street there is speed bump you have to be very careful when you're parking your car because reason why if you park the car a little bit let's say two three let's say five six inches up five six inches yes let's say four car if you will make it that way make it better after the bump it's a little bit difficult in the event that if people that are driving at nine don't see this the speed bump flying they're gonna land into your car i've seen it the other day i said you know what let me do a video about that so i can explain that as you're gonna go here there is a speed bump ahead okay there's a speed bump ahead if you park the car before the speed bump you're good to go okay yeah don't have to worry about it i'll make sure i said that straight okay you see all this guy there's a speed bump here i'm gonna show it to you here there's a speed bump over here all this car that parked before the speed bump they're in good shape you see the speed bump here i'm gonna go over it now now okay let me stop you so you can see it. this is a speed bump here i'm referring to now let me go over the speed bump you see now from one two one two see my attention three four five four cars away from the speed bump i will suggest you do not park your car there because why is that and the event that people are flying people are not aware of this speed bump of not paying attention to this um speed bump the car will fly over that speed bump when they lose control if they lose control often time they land it to those cars that park right across from the speed bump i've seen it big time big time shaka i said you know what let me do a, a video about it because you guys can benefit from here i'm gonna make i'm gonna go over more speed bumps so you can see all right do not and i'm gonna show you exactly when the accident happened and it was horrible all right when you, whenever you park in your car on the street, you have to be aware of how you park in your car. We have done video about this, about the parking um, position in the car, but we we have not yet done for the speed bump. Okay, we done that for potholes, corners, where to avoid parking your car. If you're unfortunate, unfortunate enough, you have to park in the street when you go places. It takes. I know sometimes you want to get a parking right away. It may, it, it very tempting, it very tempted for you not to just park your car uh, any places and go take care of your business is okay but here's what you don't want when you come back something that you don't want to see you know you can come back to your car as you left it and guess what funny the accident happened and the person uh, and the person end up keeping it moving now i can imagine when that person wake up in the morning and see this car big time shock although you may have insurance to cover it but not everybody got um the um, full coverage insurance to cover those kind of problem and all this could have been avoided by doing what? Park your car in a better position. It will not hurt you to do that to me, all right? I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna shoot across here. I'll show you again some more. The speed bump guys, they are little to your car, okay? Four or five cars on the side of the, um, um, by the speed bump, try your best not to park on that direction. And also, it's on the car that are closer to the speed bump, okay? So if you're on that side, four or five cars on that side, if it's on the other side, four or five cars, you got a better, better chance if you park across from the speed, speed bump, but because it's gonna be not on your side from the other side of the traffic coming over if that makes sense okay so um let me know guys if you're aware of this 
Yo, if this never come to your attention, or if you a witness of a speed bump accident where the person keeping it moving or it went in a, a direction that nobody was expecting, okay? So, at the light here, we're gonna make a right turn. We're gonna continue with our driving lesson here. Middle left, shoulder left. Signal back. For the purpose of the wood test, guys, you signal all of your attention, okay? And on this channel here, we do everything about driving. If you if you met for the first time, I'm Ben with PayPal Driving School. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, may consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification squad. Each time we drop a video, you'll be the first one to be notified. If you have been, if there is anything in particular you want me to cover for you, you want us to cover for you, put in the comment below. That's where that's where we got all of our video topic coming from. All right, we all about driving here. Okay, the the the, the topic for today we we covering how do you park your car on the street how to park their car on the street safely to avoid trouble okay at the traffic light right there I'm tired already it's going on midnight midday you are right shoulder right okay the human is all the way across and we go from there all right, folks, yes, we're talking about the speed bump. You have to make sure that you park your car in a way where the speed bump will not arms. Put your car in an arms way because we've seen things that happen. We can right turn, you know, put it over to your right, mirror right, shoulder right, we're pulling over. Our student living here, I'll send them cover a quick lesson about the speed bump so you guys can have a better understanding how to approach the speed bump in a better way. Let's reverse so you get a better position here. We put it on the reverse. We verify mirror left, shoulder left, Mirror inside, mirror, mirror right, shoulder right, and look back when you're going back and you're directing the car in the direction you want it to go. Okay, beautiful. All right, folks, there you have it. Um, I've seen the accident happen by the speed bump where the driver was flying, not aware there was a speed bump in the wood, and the car lost control of the car because the speed the driver was going, the car landed right on another car that was parking four, four cars ahead from that speed bump, okay? When you park your car in the street, be aware, be mindful of where you're parking your car because in the event that anything were to happen any night in the street, most of the time, the person may keep it moving, you're gonna have to deal with the, with, with, the, with the trouble. We have a video, we have many videos on the channel that cover that how do you park your car on the street to help you have a better understanding in the event you ever have to park your car in the street, all right? So I said, let me show you a video about that because that's what we do here. Everything that we observe, everything that we see on the street deserve to be um, to be told in a video. We share a video with it so everybody can have an idea with that. Until then, keep practicing. This has been your people Java School. Take care now, folks. Bye-bye.